Life can take unexpected turns, but sometimes those detours take us down a better path. For one Plantersville, Alabama farmer, a disfiguring childhood accident was the beginning of a beautiful journey. Kevin Worthington has his story. Like the tender green plants that fill his nursery and greenhouse with color each spring, David Wright's childhood injury blossomed into a lifetime of learning, love, and leadership for the Dallas County farmer. The date of the accident was November the 19th, 1966. Happened at about 9, 10 a.m. in the morning. I just got back from squirrel hunting and went down to help my dad. Uh, Mom said that he was selling corn in the corn chawler that was pulled off the PTO shaft of the tractor. And so I was helping do that and I stepped over the drive shaft with some sacks of several times and one time that sack got caught. And when it got caught, it took me around the drive shaft, throwed me out. I was sitting on the ground and I remember my right arm laying over here by my left side. In just a matter of seconds, David's life was changed forever. But he would soon discover untapped determination, creativity, and resourcefulness thanks to a new friend who visited him in the hospital. He had one arm. He was missing a right arm from a hunting accident when he was 14 years old. And at that time, he was probably in his around 60 years old or so. And he showed me that life's not over. And if it wasn't for Mr. Pete Hutchinson, I would not be where I am today. Even after his release from the hospital, Hutchinson continued to mentor David. As he matured, David realized he needed to prepare for a career that didn't include his dream of operating the family farm. When I lost my arm, I said, you know, I might have to go get a job someday. So I better take school a little bit more serious. David not only graduated from high school, he went on to attend Livingston University before transferring to Auburn, where he earned a degree in horticulture. While I was there at Auburn, I met this young lady, and we happened to have the same birthday, the same day, the same year. And two years after graduation, we were married, and she came here, and we started working in the greenhouse. I think that every decision or everything that happened to us is what makes the rest of our lives. And, and, and in his case, it's true, he would not have gone to Auburn. He would not have uh, met me. We would not have met. And I felt like everybody's life is called by God. And in and, and that way, I feel like that we were, we were meant to be together. David's dad built the first 16 by 32 foot greenhouse shortly after the accident as a rehabilitation activity for his son. Today, Wright's nursery and greenhouse includes almost 100,000 square feet of greenhouse space. David and his wife Martha, along with their son Davey and his wife Heather, sell an assortment of flowering plants to mostly independent garden centers from Greenville to the Tennessee line. But David's turned over much of the day-to-day -day operations of the greenhouses to Davey. He says his father has never let his injury get in the way of what he wanted to do and is always giving back to his community. We all had a starting point in, in life, and we all hit ups and downs. Uh, he hit his down when he was 14 by losing his arm, and uh, lots of people in the community picked him up and encouraged him, and they kept him motivated to continue on and build and go to school. <laughs> A lot of this would never have happened without that one accident happened. David agrees. In fact, he considers his injury a blessing. If the good Lord came back today and said, David, I believe I'll let you go through life again, but with two arms, I would say, thank you, Lord, but no thanks, because something might be different. I would like everyone to know that, that whatever the good Lord puts in front of you, that he will never put more than you can handle and he put the one arm in front of me. And at 14, it didn't seem very good, but by, by 20 years old, I realized it was the best thing that ever happened. For Simply Southern, I'm Kevin Worthington. David not only overcame his injury, 
He also built a highly successful business. Wright's Nursery and Greenhouse was Alabama's farm of distinction in 2009, and David and Martha won the Alabama Nursery and Landscape Association's Lifetime Achievement Award, and that's the first time it's ever been given to a couple. They really are an outstanding family, and David, when you visit their greenhouse, you forget that he only has one arm because any job that comes up, he can do it. He is truly amazing.